Welcome to Appetite Fest, the very first edition of the biggest, coolest new culinary celebration in the country at Times Square in Pretoria. And what a feast it's been over the last few days. We've had some of South Africa's top chefs, uh, the likes of Siba, Peter Tempelhoff, Bertus Basson, Eric Bulpit have all been here. We've had thousands of people from around the area coming in, tasting some great food, tasting some very strange food and having a lot of fun. And then the real highlight, all three of the MasterChef Australia judges have come out from from Australia to join us. George has been here, the little Greek maestro, Gary as well, the lover of wine, and then the man I'm gonna spend some time with today, Matt Preston, responsible for making cravats popular again. He's with us, and I'm gonna be heading right up there to the pool deck at the Maslow to meet Matt, hang out with him, and convince him to let me join MasterChef Australia. We'll be begging Dan to come to Australia, because Dan makes singularly the best toasted cheese sandwich <laughs> in the world. Um, um, let's start, okay. Now this, you could serve this with rice and some stream, steamed greens. You could, um, you could, as I said, you could put it in a wrap. That goes into the oven. And there, there's our first dish, which is hosting peanut chicken with fish sauce, caramel, uh, Brussels sprouts, natchies, and various other bits and pieces. And as you can see, I'm absolutely loving this first dish from Matt. It's got a slight nuttiness, that Asian bun. I've spent some time in Asia. I've eaten this sort of food. Close my eyes. I could be back in Vietnam where I spent my honeymoon. That fresh coriander coming through on top of it all. This is glorious. This is why Matt does what he does. something I haven't done in my cooking, and I cook a lot, and that's use fresh pineapple in this particular way. It's got a slightly chillyish feel to it, but it's really bringing the best out of this short rib. And the short rib, which is South African, is glorious. It's falling apart in the palate. The size of the smile on my face reflects just how much I am loving this dish. It's probably the 170th meal I've had at Appetite this weekend, but this must be as good as any of them. So generally, it's well established. South Africans do not like Australians. They tend to beat us at cricket, they beat us at rugby, and their English isn't very good. But there are exceptions, and this would certainly be one of them. Uh, we love MasterChef here. How surprising is it for you as to how much the South Africans just love you guys? Well, look, it's amazing. I think, I think South Africans love food, and that's, you know, they're another great traveling nation. Um, and I think also there's an amazingly rich cultural and produce uh, range that we've got, you've got here to play with. So that's really great. Um, and, you know, I think we, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of similarities. We, you lo we love to barbecue, you love braai. You know, you like a good breakfast, so do we. You like rugby, so do we. You don't like the All Blacks, so do we. <laughs> so, you know, I think, I think there's, we've probably got more in common than we do the devices. Now, you've become a smash hit here in South Africa, and so I'm working on getting over to Australia. I lived there for a year, many years ago. Uh, what do I need to do to make that step up to join the ranks and become a, a future Master Chef Australia well, you champion? Know, you, can, you can make something simple. You can make something simple, um, but it's got to be perfect. So, I, you know, this, this last season, we had someone cook a schnitzel, which is, you know, a chicken breast, crumb chicken breast, and it was the best chef anyone's ever had. And so you can do something as simple as that. It doesn't need to be a kind of a floating trapezium of, of passion fruit meringue and ice cream and, you know, that kind of stuff. It, it could be something really simple, but you've got to do it every time you cook, and that's hard. So one of the things, without meaning to be rude, that I've noticed you've been really, really weak on over the season so far, toasted sandwiches. We have, we, we, you know what, it's very interesting. In Australia, we, we have jaffles, toasted sandwiches, and we did we did do one challenge in the uh, as a way into the immunity challenge, and it was amazing. And the response, because Australians are obsessed with a good toasty or a good jaffle, and you're absolutely right, it's, 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 uh, it is, um, I, have, I, have a, I had a whole section of my second book on, on toasted sandwiches and on toast. So I think it's one of the great under, under described and undervalued food groups and it's a, a, a dish, but toasted sandwich. 
cheap white bread or something fancy? Cheap white bread every time. Oh, well, there you go. There's a tick. All right. <laughs> Best filling. Best filling. Uh, I like a bit of Emmental in my toast and cheese sandwich. So you want you want something with a mid 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 acidity so it melts perfectly. Not not too soft, otherwise the oil will run out. Not too hard and it doesn't work really pump. So manchego, a tasty, yes, excellent choice. Very good. What what else? What other flavour would you put in there with the cheese? Um, I like putting a little bit of paprika. Oh, smoked or sweet? Uh, smoked Spanish. Very nice. You should then use manchego. Smoked Spanish would be delicious. Maybe, maybe then brush the outside of your bread with the rendered oil from a chorizo sausage, which will bring out the paprika flavor and you can fry it in that. And then we're starting to talk true mastership. <laughs> Final one for you before you rush off. Really exciting. New season is out already in Australia. It comes out in South Africa pretty soon. You've got a rather important member of the royal family on the season. Yes, we, we do have Nigella. She is the queen of food. And uh, that's very exciting. Now we've got Nigella, Gordon, Ramsey and Prince Charles comes on and sets a challenge for the contestants, which is bizarre <laughs> <laughs> and kind of exciting. No, it was amazing. He was he was he was an absolute pleasure. He spent so much time with the contestants. It was really good to see. So yeah, yeah, it's a ripping show coming. Season 10, 10th anniversary. Hope you like it. A bit nervous. Brilliant. Well, thanks for coming out of South Africa again, and I will see you on season 11. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking forward. To, I'm looking forward to being there. So I reckon the truth. So may, maybe just use butter or mayonnaise is good. Master Chef Australia season 12, Dan Nickel, this oh, yes. is your champion. Yeah,